All right, so I got to work way too early today. I uh, just quit my workout. I said, ah, I don't, feel, I don't feel like doing the rest of it. So my my uh, this video is going to be on the whole uh, Roseanne Barr situation where she, uh, of course, she got in trouble. And uh, they were saying that she did some racist tweets and stuff like that. Now, all that aside, what I, this is my issue with her is that it, when she came out and said that she supports, she didn't necessarily say she, she, it doesn't seem to me that she necessarily says she supports Trump as much. She said, I'm just don't hate him. I don't hate him, you know? <laughs> so, of course, since, he, when, since she doesn't hate him with every fiber of her being, then of course that means that you are a hardcore supporter. It's just like if you're a, if you can be left on every issue, every single issue. If you're pro-life, then you're, you're you're a far-right Nazi. So since she didn't hate him with every fiber of her being, she was of course she was branded a Trump supporter, and and here we are. Now the thing I'm gonna put this squarely on her, squarely on her on the fact that she knew, in, unless she's stupid. Unless she's truly stupid, she did. She, how did she not know that this was gonna go down? That they that they were looking for anything to get her, and then she goes and gets on Twitter. Absolutely amazing! How in the hell did you not know this was gonna happen? You knew this was gonna happen. So, and, and like I said, unless you're dumb, unless you're freaking retarded, that's the only way. If you're if you're retarded or you're dumb, then I can see you not knowing that that they were going to come after you. And when I say they, I mean the liberal media and all these SJWs and everything to push everybody out. That's the ultimate goal. To root out and find every single person that does not agree with their whole agenda wholeheartedly. That's what it's all about for them. And they want to, to, to go into every corner of society. It's the reason that they want free speech uh, banned. And, and, call it, and call stuff hate speech. It's because they want everyone to think like them. Even if they don't necessarily think like them, they're able to, to, to say, hey, you know, because no one can say anything, it's like, it's like hear no evil. <laughs> it's what it's like. You know, hey, since these person can't say anything, so they must, be, they must agree with us. They want to root out every single conservative whatever in society. Even people that are just that, that are that are not even conservative just have one conservative thought. You can't even have that. They're rooting out people in their own party. Look at Steven Pinker. He said that all right people are, aren't all stupid. Next thing you know, he's a freaking Nazi. How do you not see this, Roseanne? If you're you're talking about George Soros and all this other stuff. So you obviously kind of, you know, listen to video, read, whatever. So if you do that, then how in the hell did you not know that this was going to happen to you? The minute you, 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 if you did any little thing that, that they consider, consider and, and it, the bar will be set low. The bar will be set low on what's considered racist. Let's be honest here. We know that. The bar will be set low for you. If you're a conservative, the bar is set low on what is considered racist and what's not and what's not racist. You so they're gonna find something, even if they find that your great 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 whatever granddad was a Nazi or whatever or a slave owner or something like that. Way back in your, they're gonna find that and say, "Well, you are by default racist also because of them." So. The thing, same thing with Tim Allen. I, I I hope Tim Allen sees this with Last Man Standing. He got his show brought back. It looks like by Fox. I hope. I, and I would, if I was Fox, if I were Fox, to be quite honest with you, I'd I'd, I'd get, I'd pick up Roseanne. Sure would. I'd pick it up. Because they, no one, uh, CBS or ABC or whoever that was, they didn't even give it a chance to see if people would still watch. They just went on ahead and virtue signal and got her out of there. They didn't even see if people would still watch. And I'm sorry, but I don't think Roseanne's a freaking uh, racist. I'm sorry, I don't think she is. I think she made a stupid joke. I don't think she's a racist. But Tim Allen, let this be a, let this be something to you. Let this be a lesson to you right here, an example. You got to right walk the tightrope, man. You got to walk. You got to walk the tightrope. The tightrope. I keep saying tightrope. 
the tightrope. You got to watch it. Because they're gunning for you now. They want your show off of there. They want nothing but people that are that are willing to... They want nothing but people that are willing to think like them or even say that they do even if they don't. And this would be a great chance right here. The network... CBS just escapes me. I want to say ABC. Whatever. CBS, ABC. This is a great time right here to protest... If you're if you don't agree with them what they did to protest and say I'm not watching it anymore. Anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. And uh, this liberal madness is getting out of control. But hey, we know the game, and we we call ourselves red pilled, and we know the game, and we know how things are going. But we fall some some of us fall into little crap like this. This was an easy one. Anyway. Comment, like, share, subscribe, like I said before, and we'll see you on the next one. All right.